clean the front up a little bit so we can get the, the detail of the cross on there. I want to make sure that gets in there. Again, I'm wasting time on cleanup here. I can clean that up later. But I want to take care of any marks that don't belong. Now I like to do, I like to put this detail in first before I put the um, waves in. You know, the skirt waves or whatever you call it. Uh, because Like I said, I think it's more embroidered in instead of it being colored in into the material, the fabric. It's kind of semi-straight. I think that's pretty clean up, so let's clean up, I mean. <clears throat> Because he isn't doing anything, he isn't swaying or anything. Just get the center line back. I think the apple bag might be too big. It depends on how far down we want to go. I'm going to bring the apple bag up back a little bit here. Now you can keep if you got your apple bag as big as. You got there, you can keep it there, and you could uh, bring the the cross inside there. I just want to take the easier way out here. back in. Now this, let's put, let's draw two lines like you're drawing a Santa, the tufts of a Santa. Is that what you call it? Tufts. It's gonna go, and it's gonna come to an end here. Like a blade. The other end is going to make sure that's straight. Is going to actually come here, and I want it to be the same distance between the two from here to here, or thereabouts. Is it? I think it's a little. I think it's right now. I don't think it's centered or level. I think it's too cockeyed. Then, I'm going to take my chisel. I want to erase here. I want to erase because I don't want. Now, you don't have to erase. I'm erasing here so, as, so you won't get confused as to what I'm doing here. Let's get where it comes here. away from the design into the coat and again I want to make it just so I'm just leaving a little bit of, of um, pencil mark Oops. So I'm kind of trying to squeeze and use my fingers to push up I think I need to cut in here more there we go Up to there, up to there, twist the V-tool, away from, oops, 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 I think I dug in too, too, in, too yeah, I did, shoot. So that'll fix it a little bit. Okay, we're going to do the same thing as we did 
with the hat. We want to kind of add a little. With this thing, we're going to add a little extra stop cut. bringing that embroidery out. Now what's going to happen <clears throat> is we're going to put, now you can you can paint the crosses that's inside here. I kind of would like to V-tool the main one. You know, I am going to have to, i got to reach for a smaller chisel. I keep talking about it, but I just don't, there it is. This is like a small number five, I think. Okay, same here. Let's see if I can recuperate this a little bit. I don't think so. I think I pretty well goofed it up. If I could just paint that back in there. I want to take some of the, oops, chisel some of the pencil marks out of there. Very carefully, not too much. You don't want to go too far from where you've just brought this out. <sighs> All right. We got most of the pencil marks out of there. We'll get the rest out later. I did kind of goof it up, didn't I? If I can recover. You did recover some of it. I did. Did I? I want to put a cross in here. here. Maybe I should be showing you what I'm doing here. See the blue? I'm going to put uh, now those other little crosses. I've I believe I just painted them in, and then we did. I did do a V tool around for the border. So I want to get this cross inside here small enough. first. This one's a lot different. 
This is more wool. Thinner and longer. Now another thing that I did, I wonder if I can do this without penciling it in. I'm gonna do a do a border. Now you can pencil this in if you want. I think I can do this without penciling it in. Create some border detail. There's the border. Now that we really don't have to trim that much, but here, now I'm going to do the border of the cross. Now this is going to be mostly painted in. I mean, now you bend the, you bend your V-tool, so it'll, so it'll pop out more. There. Did I do this side? I don't remember if I did this side. I don't have to remember, just look. There we go. Now, um, I'm going to kind of commit to this little band down here. I got a little pan going on down here. I'm going to kind of commit to it. I mean, we can always bend it if we want the fabric to bend. Cutting away from the little band. Again, I think that's embroidered in somehow. <sighs> All I did was uh, I painted it gold and then I um, just put some blue dots. <laughs> 